Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is part 18th video in VCP 8 data center virtualization 2023 and in this video I am going to show you how to create a virtual machine in vCenter server 8 or ESXi 8 so so basically uh, you have multiple options to create a virtual machine so if if we if I show you here, select a creation type, you will see create a new virtual machine, deploy from a template, clone an existing virtual machine, so clone a virtual machine to template. So there are multiple options available uh, <coughs> in a vCenter server to create a virtual machine. So it's depend on your requirement what you want to do. So basically in this video, I'm going to focus on creating a brand new virtual machine from scratch. And then we are going to do some installation and post info, uh, post installation task also like installation of the VMware tools and all. So, <clears throat> so this is my demo environment, the same environment which I used in my last video. So we got our domain controller, vCenter server and 4ESXi host. So if I show you, this is my uh, domain controller on, on from domain controller itself. I have taken the console of my a vCenter environment so I got my four ESXi hosts here and then it's created on cluster so you have multiple option to create a virtual machine uh, so if you click uh, like here on a vCenter server you will see here no virtual machine creation is there but if you click on data center you will see here like new virtual machine same thing if you click on cluster you will see new virtual machine if you click on ESXi you will see uh, create new virtual machine so what is difference if you click here it's going to redirect you to the same page like new virtual machine page okay so in this video I'm going to focus on this thing uh, create a new virtual machine so click next and then you need to put the virtual machine name okay so I'm going to call it let's say win to k12 and master i'm going to take this name as a master so we will use later on this machine as a template also so master click next now you will see it will show you the option where you want to create so if you click on cluster it will create on cluster label so let's go ahead with cluster so now it's showing the data store so i'm going to select my uh, data store cluster so this is prod hyphen ds underscore cluster so click next and then what is the compatibility so you want to run on which infrastructure so based on that compatibility version you can select so i'm going to run on esxi 8 or later so i'm going to select this and so virtual machine hardware version 20 uh, provide the best performance and latest feature available on esxi and same thing if you go with the, any other version you will see the uh, virtual machine hardware version is going to be changed depending on the uh, version compatibility version so i'm going with the latest 8 which have a virtual machine hardware version 20 so click next now which operating system you want to install so you have option of various operating system from linux you have option from all the windows operating system and then you have other operating system also you can specify like mac or free bsd oracle uh, novel netware you have all the options like esxi also you can install if you wish so i'm going to use the windows and i'm going to use uh, 2022 and if you want to enable uh, virtual security uh, you can uh, <coughs> virtualization based security you can enable that also so i'm not going to enable enable it and now this is the important page where it's going to tell you about the customization of your hardware if you want to customize so let's say if you want to customize your processor so you can um, uh, make your processor configuration here if you want to change the memory you can change the memory also disk size if you want to create change you can change the disk size also and network also which network you want to uh, basically put so you can select the network also depending on your requirement operating system so i am going to install operating system from my iso so i think okay we'll do it later on so i'm going to select client and usb i don't want so i'll go ahead and remove usb and these other options are 
leave default and now i'll go ahead and click on finish and then i'll show you settings also for this machine so if you see now virtual machine is created so this is good now if i right click here and go to edit you will see here four cpu which we change and disk everything is there now if you go here you will see here this nick is e 1000 e so we should use a vmx 3 so i'm going to remove it add a new device so i'm going to click on uh, add then i'm going to add a network adapter from the network adapter i'm going to select here vmnx net 3 which, which is the latest one and click ok now just verify one more time whatever we selected is applied so you will see here vmnx net 3 this is good now iso so i'm going to select my iso so here it is so one second i think it's there uh, okay i don't see iso let me check where is the iso so it's in data store one so i'm going to edit again and from here data store iso going in ds1 see here iso i'm going to select my windows 2022 where's click ok I'm going to click OK here now. I think it's done. See, this is good. Now I'll go ahead and power on this machine. Also, if you want to specify any setting in VM options, you can go here. Like in boot, you will see secure boot is enabled or disabled. If you want to do it, you can go ahead and do it. And also in advance, you can select if you want to basically perform any advanced setting so depending on your requirement if you want you can go ahead and uh, make the setting changes so synchronize time with the host also you can uncheck if you are using domain environment so this is good click ok now i'm going to power on this machine so mainly creation is a something which you, you need to take care rest everything OS installation and all this uh, like a same how you do in your uh, basically on any virtual machine physical machine it's going to be a same so I'm going to connect this and then hit control tell now you will see the, this machine is booted from ISO so basically uh, virtual machine creation this is a brand new virtual machine creation if you want you can go ahead and later on you can create create a clone if you have a template you can deploy a virtual machine from template so based on your requirement you can do it so let me install this machine and then we can now we will see how what are the post installation tasks which you need to perform so click next install now I'm going to select data center desktop experience which is going to be GUI mode so I accept next custom install and go ahead with the installation so basically this is how you can create a virtual machine and start the installation so now the installation is finished we need to configure password <coughs> So password is also done now let's log into virtual machine now what you need to do you need to install a vmware tool if you see here vmware tool not installed on this virtual machine is showing so you can click on action and then install uh, tools and mount the iso so it will mount the vmware installation media in the drive and then you can start the installation with the help of that uh, i mounted iso so i'll go ahead and do it mm. So if you see here so, 
sometime mouse does not work so you need to take a help of keyboard to install the VMware tools so that's what I'm doing so run setup dot uh, setup 64.exe file to start the installation of VMware tools So here we go, just click on next and install. So this will uh, install the VMware tools and once the VMware tool is installation is done then you are good to go <coughs> and finish your VMware uh, virtual machine, brand new virtual machine creation and in next videos I am going to focus on uh, how you can create a template, how you can create a clone and all those things. So this is basically a brand new virtual machine creation from scratch so <coughs> almost installation is done so post the VMware tools installation you can go ahead and reboot the virtual machine so installation is finished now just go ahead and reboot the machine so now you will see that uh, installation is a uh, VMware tools icon is now gone so this is good machine is booting so basically this is all about how to create a brand new virtual machine in VMware vCenter server or uh, your ESXi host also uh, this is the process is going to remain same uh, does not matter you create a virtual machine from vCenter server console um, or you create from uh, direct on ESXi so concept is going to remain same the steps are going to remain same so thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post my on my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye